Hey y'all, it's me Alex. Today I have a three looks one palette using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Earth and Ocean palette. Now y'all will have seen me use this in a get ready with me a while back. I actually got this as a Christmas present so this in addition to all of the other eyeshadow I've like acquired in the last little bit I have been just like testing out. It definitely took me a while to get this up just because I have acquired a lot of eyeshadow that I'm kind of like working my way through. But this is what it looks like. I really, really, really love this color story. This color story speaks to my soul. There is the earth side and there is the ocean side. So one side is more green and one side is more blue. And the green side also has like some golds and some neutral browns in it. And I think this palette is very, very versatile. Now I was definitely a bit skeptical when I was trying this out because I've had like, I've tried a bunch of different shadows from e.l.f. I had the e.l.f. and J. Kissa palette, which I really, really liked. I had the e.l.f. and Christian Siriano palette, which I really, really didn't like. I had the e.l.f. Jewel Pop palette. It was like pretty good. So basically my opinion on e.l.f. shadows is that they could go either way, much like me. Here are my thoughts on this palette before I get into the three looks. I think that a lot of these shadows are very, very lovely. I am definitely more of a fan of the green side than the blue side. I think both of them have really good colors, but the mattes on the blue side are very, very difficult to work with, whereas the mattes on the green side, the more like browns and olives, are a lot, lot easier. I don't have to do as much work with those. I don't have to do as much building. And I think that's just simply the nature of kind of green versus blue eyeshadow is that the more greens and browns those are definitely easier to formulate in a matte formula and blues are you know a little bit more difficult especially like Oasis I had a lot of trouble with this shade because while it looks very beautiful in the pan it is very light very patchy because it is more of a pastel shade so I'm not a huge fan of that but the blue shimmers are very nice I have had pretty good luck with those uh, I'm not a fan of the shade Tundra I put it on my eyes it looked very lovely but since this is definitely more of a chunky glittery shade it was flaking in my eyes all day I did not like that like I used a glitter glue I'm pretty certain yeah, I used a glitter glue and it still just like kept flicking into my eyes all day. I used it in the first look so you'll see how that looked like first, you know, look but it was just like getting in my eyes all day. It was not a pleasant experience so I'm not going to use that shade anymore. But the other shimmers from both sides I think are really really beautiful. My two favorite shades are Sahara which is what's on my lid and Spruced Up which is what's on my lower lash line. I think those are absolutely lovely. I also just have a bias towards green shadows. I have a thing for green. So take that with the grain of salt that you will. I think that if you are someone who has never delved into blue or green eyeshadows and you really want to try it, but you don't want to take like a huge investment risk of like getting a higher end palette or investing in a more pricey indie palette. I think this would be a really good option for you because I know you can find this at like Target. I'm pretty certain Ulta has it, the e.l.f. website, because this is, it's e.l.f. So it's definitely more inexpensive than a lot of other colorful eyeshadow palettes. Are you going to love every shade in this? Probably not. But I think that this is really good if you are a beginner because the other thing is too, is that if you are a little bit more scared of like these types of blues and like the bright greens and golds there are enough like neutral mattes in here that you can use in conjunction with those shades you know that you could just use you know it has like a little pop on the lower lash line or the inner corner and do an overall neutral look which I think is really cool because I think that this isn't like a neutral with a pop palette this is more like a half colorful half neutral palette and I think that's actually really nice. Like I've been saying, I am a really big fan of the green matte shadow formula. Yeah, I think overall this is a really, really beautiful palette. I'm just saying that if you're going in for it for like the blue mattes, um, this is not the palette for you. But there are only like two mattes in the blue section. So that's why I am recommending this palette because everything else in it, <sighs> chef's kiss, it is lovely. I think that this is such a great drugstore palette and I really, I know e.l.f. has made a lot of palettes like these and I've always been, you know, I've been on the fence about them because I didn't know, 
you know, elf shadows are kind of a mixed bag. So I really do want to look into more of their colorful palettes because if they are all as lovely as this, you know, I think that's pretty darn good. So if you want to try some more you know, blue and green shades, I think that this is definitely worth picking up and using because it is quite great. Now, if you would like to see how these shadows actually perform, because I think I have talked my butt off for this review, we're just, we're just gonna get into the three looks now. Okay, so for this first look, I'm gonna focus a little bit more on the ocean side. I'm going to begin with the shade Oasis here, this nice little um, periwinkle type shade. And I'm going to use that on this BH Cosmetics brush that is not named. It just looks like this and it's quite lovely. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. This is very, very pastel. So um, we're gonna see how this will actually go. This is definitely lighter than how it comes across in the pan, but it still seems to have like a lot of pigmentation, even if it's not like the same color, if that makes sense. And it also has a lot of kick up in the pan too. Now I'm going to take this shade up here, Abyss, and I'm going to use that to just deepen up that crease so that it looks a bit like better on me. And these two are actually blending pretty easily into each other. Okay, and now to add a last little bit of depth, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of trenches into the crease in outer corner. Well, I'm just gonna take a bit of e.l.f. glitter glue and I'm gonna put that all over both of my lids because I'm gonna put down some shimmer shades and I wanna give them the best opportunity possible. Okay, so for the first shade, I'm gonna put this towards the outer portion of my lid. I'm gonna take Siren here, this kind of shimmer. Yeah, and like I said, outer portion of my lid. Now, before I go do anything else, I'm gonna put more of Abyss in the crease. So that way this look doesn't lose its depth and dimension. And then on the rest, I'm going to use a shade Tundra here. Okay, I'm gonna need to use it on my finger, I think, because this is more of a pressed glitter type shade. Actually, I think I am gonna drag that on top of the rest of my lid shade. Now, the more that I look at it, the more I like this shade a lot. Um, just kind of like that. Mm, okay, give me one second so I can figure out a way to get the glitter off of the bottom of my eyes. Okay, so I think I've fixed it to the best of my abilities. It was just becoming a straight up mess. I am going to blend out the outer corner. That way it's not just like a harsh line between the glitter and the rest of my eye look. I'm also definitely going to need to blend out the top. Now I am going to take more of Abyss and I'm gonna put that towards the outer corner of my lower lash line. I just straight up have glitter all over my face now. Love that for me. And then for the inner portion of my lower lash line, I'm really going to take the shade Drip Drip here, this really vivid blue, and I'm gonna pump that in there for, you know, a little bit more color into this look. Okay, now, so finally, to finish off this eye look, I'm going to take salt water here, and I'm going to put that in my inner corner. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna finish off this eye look, do my face and my lips, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this look is done. The shadows were a little bit difficult to work with, but I think that this turned out pretty cute. Um, and my lip color is Dream House from Fluid. This is their lip gloss. That I feel pretty cute. Okay, so for this next look, I'm feeling a little bit more like mustardy, olive greeny. Uh, perhaps. Yeah, I think that'll be a good choice. So I'm gonna begin with Desert Storm, which is this shade right here, and I'm gonna pop that in my crease. My bangs are looking like a thing <laughs> right now, um, but anyway, that's going in my crease, and I'm just very gently putting it up there with a BH Cosmetics, whatever this brush is, and I think this makes like a really good kind of olivey mustardy transition shade. I'm gonna use some of the more gold shades on my lid. Okay, so now on my lid, I'm gonna begin with the shade Gold Rush right here. Uh, where it is? There, 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 in the middle. Um, and I'm just gonna actually use that on my finger. Look how metallic and foiled that looks on my finger. Um, and I'm just gonna pat that on my lid. So it's just like a nice gold. It almost, I kind of almost feel like a bumblebee, but like in a cute way, you know? Save the bees and all of that. And then towards the outside of my eyes, I'm going to use a bit of rock bottom here. And I'm going to use that towards the outer corner and then I'm going to blend that out with a bit more of Desert Storm. And with more Desert Storm, just going to use that to blend out both of those shades. Please stay out of my face bangs. I'm going to take a little bit more of Desert Storm and just use that on my lower lash line. I really, really like that shade. I also feel like this kind of look could be easily achieved with the Urban Decay Naked Honey, I think it is, palette. Like, whatever their gold shades are. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Can't Kelp It, and I'm going to use that to just kind of deepen up the crease on the outer corner. I'm going to use it a little bit on the outer corner of my lower lash line as well. And then finally for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use this really light yellow shade, Sun Yourself. Okay, so now I'm going to pop on some mascara and something on my lips and my face and, you know, all the other stuff that would be required for me to finish this look, and I will be right back. Okay, so this is my finished look. The lipstick I'm wearing is this little mini of the Bite Beauty Chai lipstick, and yeah, I'm not used to this sort of an eye look with like more yellowy tones on me, but I think I like it. Obviously, I added eyeliner too, forgot to mention that because I didn't say that because I wasn't anticipating doing that. Then I put it on and I thought it looked pretty good. So here we are, my finished second look. Okay, and finally for this third look, I really want to work more with the green side because if you haven't watched the review portion of this video, the green side is my favorite. Should have prepared my brushes. Should have prepared my brushes. Okay, so I'm going to begin by using the shade Desert Storm as my crease here. I'm just using this little BH Cosmetics brush because that is like one of my favorite favorite brushes of all time. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. It's definitely a little like dark for a transition shade, but also I don't believe in like doing, you know, the matte shade that's two shades darker than your regular skin tone. Cause that's just excessive, my dude.
I also still have glitter on my eyes from yesterday because I went to a wedding and I was wearing glitter and you can never remove glitter from one's face entirely. So here we are. Okay, now I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush and use a shade Can't Kelp It, that name though, it's super cute. And I'm gonna just take that in a more precise way in the crease. I'm gonna deepen it up. I don't want that to kind of blend out the other shade. I don't want it to cover it up. I want it to add to that shade. Okay, so I'm gonna come back and work on the outer corner in just a bit, but for now, for my lid, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. glitter glue to do a cut crease. Um, well, like a half cut crease, because I'm not sure if I'm really entirely feeling a whole cut crease, but I haven't done a half cut crease in a while. Just putting a little bit of that on my hand, and then I'm taking this little brush, do 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 do, put it on my lid, about the first half of my lid, look up, and there we go. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, now for that lid shade, I really wanted to use the shade Sahara. I've already used this once on my eyes before and I really, really like it. So I'm gonna use that and basically put it down where I put the glitter glue because I just really want this shimmer to pop. Just like, look at that shade though. It is gorgeous. Look at that. Hello there eyeshadow. I think this is just so incredibly beautiful and smooth and just easy. I just like can't stop looking at the shadow as I'm doing it. That's why it's like taking so long because I'm just like admiring this color. So it's outer corner time. I'm going to just kind of use the same shades that I used in my crease. So I'm just going to begin with Desert Storm and do that as like the little blendy blend on the outside because that's what I want this to blend out to. And then I'll layer it up with a deeper shade because obviously we do deeper shades in our outer corner. That's just like the makeup rules. Okay, and then because we're keeping in this color scheme, I'm going in with Can't Kelp It. And I'm using that a little bit closer to the lid shade. I'm kind of blending the two with my fingers because I don't want to bring the pigment, like the matte pigment, too far over onto the lid shade. But I do want them to be pretty blended, like a not harsh line. So I'm just like tapping my finger over it pretty easy like that. Now I'm going to go in for my bottom lash line and I'm gonna use a shade that's spruced up and I'm just gonna use that on this kind of blendy-ish brush. That way I can do it all nice and smoky. And then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of Can't Kelp It. And I'm going to use that towards the outer corner of the lower lash line. Just so that it blends nicely with the upper lid. Okay, and finally for my inner corner highlight, I'm just gonna use a little bit of Sun Yourself. I wish that there was kind of like a more greeny light shade in there, but this will do. Like, I think this still blends pretty nicely. Okay, so now I've kind of done all of the shadow that I need to. I'm gonna go in, do my mascara, my lips, my face, my everything else and I will be right back with the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished third look. Um, I did my face as usual, mascara as usual. The lipstick that I am wearing is Chai from Bite Beauty and I think this is probably definitely my favorite look that I've done with this palette. All right, y'all, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe down below if you wanna see more videos from me. And I will see y'all in my next one. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.